Greetings and welcome to Your Inspirations. I'm Mary Beth Temple for Hooked for Life and in this video we're going to take a closer look at the Waterfall Fringe Crochet Cushion. Now this is made in Bernat Crushed Velvet. I'm using Blue Brilliance and you can get more information about the materials when you click the link below and download the free pattern. We're going to make these interesting little fringes that are nice and thick and very durable and will look amazing with all the color changing. And we're going to take a close look at the single crochet ribbing that we use for the back of the pillow. So let's get started on this super simple to make pillow. And while you're thinking about it, please subscribe to the channel for fresh content weekly on knitting, crocheting, and other yarny stuff. Let's get started. The way this pillow is assembled, you're going to make the front first. So you're going to chain 59, single crochet in second chain from hook and in each chain to the end of chain, turn, you'll have 58 single crochet in the row. Then the second row and the row that you're going to repeat is chain one, single crochet in each stitch to end of row, turn. So you're going to repeat that until there's 70 rows total, but the important thing is to place the marker at the beginning, oh, pardon me, at the end of every 10th row, because that's going to help you place the fringe strips later. And we're making the fringe strips separately. We're going to make seven of them. So I'm going to just make a little tiny one here on camera. You're gonna want a tape measure for this. Um, it's nice to have one that lays flat or you can use a ruler. Um, and the reason we measure out these loops instead of just guessing is we would like the fringe to be more or less even it's never going to be exactly perfect. It's never going to look like you cut it with a, you know, with a rotary cutter and everything's exactly the same. But if you measure these loops so that they're approximately the same length, it gives the pillow that neat tailored look that it has, even though it's full of fringe. So I have finished my first row, which was just single crochet and second chain from hook and in each chain across, turn the work, chain one, and we are on the second row of the fringe strips slip stitch in the first stitch. Now it says draw up a loop 10 inches or 25 and a half centimeters long. You're pulling out the working loop. So you have my one end here. I'm going to keep pulling till I get near the 10 inches. That looks pretty good. Now at this point yeah, close enough. I like to take the hook out at this point. I just think it's easier. And then it says twist loop 30 times. Now I like to do it away from me every time. You can do it toward you every time. It doesn't matter which way you go as long as you go the same way every single time. So I'm going to twist 30 times. One, two, three, four, five, ten, fifteen, 20, 25. Now what we're looking for, see the work coiling back on itself? That's what we want it to do. So we know that we have enough twist in there when we can see that work coiling. So at this point, we hold on to that loop. I'm going to put my crochet hook back in. I'm going to slip stitch in the same stitch that I had already worked in. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull these guys apart so that they can twist on each other evenly. You see how nice and thick and twisted that fringe is? Let's do that a couple more times just to get the hang of it. So now I'm going to slip stitch in the next single crochet. Pull that loop out to approximately 10 inches or 25 and a half centimeters. And a little bit more. Oop, a little bit less. You can just, you know, pull the working yarn in and out as you need to. And once again, if you want to leave the hook in there, you can and twist the hook. I just find that really irritating. I find I have better control with my finger. Three, four, five, 
10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So once again, I see my twist, so I know I'm good. If you accidentally lose count, a couple too many twists is preferable to a few too few. You want to make sure that that twist is happening so the fringe holds its shape. I'm going to put the loop back on the hook. Sorry, let me get my working yarn where it belongs. There we go. I'm going to slip stitch in the same stitch that I put the previous slip stitch in. And then I'm going to straighten that fringe out so that it comes back on itself. So there's, I have two fringes made. One last time. Slip stitch in the next stitch. Pull up to 10 inches. Close enough. Twist 30 times. Put the hook back in that working loop. Slip stitch in the same stitch that you put the previous slip stitch in. And then pull it out in half so it coils back on itself neatly. Move on to the next one. So that's all there is to the fringe. And I'm going to briefly talk about making the backs. Let's take a little look at the back. Now we're going to make two pieces the same and there's going to be this ribbed edging and we're going to overlap the two pieces when we sew them together so that there is an opening for the pillow insert to go in. So we're working our ribbing in this direction and then we're going to work some single crochet across the long edge. So all we're going to do to do this is to single crochet in the back loop only. So I've done a couple rows here so you can see what's going on. But when you get started you're going to chain nine single crochet in second chain from hook and in each chain across which will give you eight single crochets. But I'm working in the back loop only. So don't work in that front one, only the back one. So I did my chain one at the beginning of the row skip the first guy, work only in the back. You're going to do that all the way across. Seven, eight. So you can see the ridge that I skipped here is what gives it that ribbed look. Next row, I've turned the work. I'm going to chain one. Skip that front ridge. Go back to the second one. So I'm going to work on this ribbing until the work measures um, 19 and a half inches or 49 and a half centimeters, slightly stretched. And we'll talk about that in one second. So 
So again, because it's ribbed, it's gonna pull in a little. So when I measure it, I wanna slightly stretch it. I don't wanna pull it way out crazy. Just slightly stretched. That's where I'm gonna measure. And it says, do not fasten off and proceed as follows. Turn, so we were here. Turn work sideways, chain one. And it says work 58 single crochet evenly along the side of ribbon. And turn, and then you're gonna place the marker at the end of that row. Now, obviously I'm not going to work 58 across mine because mine is much smaller than yours. But the one little tip I wanted to give you when you have a big piece like that, instead of trying to evenly space 58 in my head across 19 and a half inches, I like to mark it off. I might put a stitch marker halfway, and then half of 58 is, let's see, 25 and four is uh, 29. So I will do 29 up to the marker, and then 29 after the marker. It gives me a better idea of how my spacing evenly is working. Or on your piece, you could even put it into quarters if you wanted to put it into quarters. But I like to put that marker in there to sort of narrow down the amount of space that I have to cover. So I'm just gonna work into the side of the stitches. After that, I'm going to work in single crochet as it tells me in the directions. And when it's time to assemble everything, I'm gonna overlap those backs. I'm going to sew my fringe on the marked rows and sew the front to the back and pop my pillow in there. So you can see I have my single crochet just across the side edge. Now, this might pull out the least little bit and that's okay. When you lay this flat and you have your single crochet going on up here and your ribbing down here, it is gonna be ever so slightly wider up here than it is down here and that's because we measured it slightly stretched and that's because we want that ribbing to pull in to keep the pillow closure nice and tight. So thank you so much for joining me here on Yarn Inspirations. I'm Mary Beth Temple for Hooked for Life. Please subscribe to the channel for fresh content weekly on knitting, crocheting, and other yarny stuff. And we look forward to seeing you again here real soon. Bye-bye. <laughs>